Shalom, this is IUIC TV. This is 2024 Black Bike Week Blitz. We come here to tear down the strongholds and teach the people what Bike Week is actually about and bring their knowledge of what our heritage is about. Hey, so what's your name, boss? Hassan. Hey, this is IUIC TV. I'm Officer Arye. I'm here with... Big Jazzy. Lil Shakol. Shy. So this week, what we got going on this week? Bike Week. What's going on, bro? We doing good. What's your names? Ahmad. Zell. Where y'all from? Atlanta. All right, who do we have with us? Antoine. And Diana. So, so Black Bike Week, Black Bike Week, that's where we at right now, right? Yeah. So what, what is that about? Um, I don't know, I guess everybody bring the bikes out, man. All I know is just having fun, just, you know, hanging out. Well, y'all know any history of it? This is my first time here. First time? Yes. First time. Everybody first time? Yes. Okay, okay. So what do you expect out of this event? Oh. Some fun, I guess. Fun, fun <laughs> out, meet new people. I just want to get drunk. <laughs> Do you know how it got started, the history on it? No, I don't know the history on it. I couldn't tell you the history on it. So why y'all out here? What, what's, what's the reason? To turn up. Turn up. OK, OK. What about you? Just, I like being outside. Okay. What's your name? Brittany. All right, I'm Adam. I'm Adam. Nice to meet you. Where are you from? New York. Who I got with me? Uh, my name is Bernard. OK, all right. So what usually go on around here? They be drunk. They be wild. They be partying, walking the strip, walking the strip, the strip going to the beach. Cars, seeing the bikes. That's basically it. What's your name? Come big for us. Okay. I'm Kiara. What brought you down? Um, I wanted to meet some new guys. And meet bike. some new guys. Yeah, meet some new guys and bike. Okay. Meet I want some. To get on the back of a bike. You want to get on the back of a bike? Yeah. Cause that's what I seen on the fly. It said bikes and booties. Yeah. That's, that's what I you came for. Suit it up. Yeah. So I'm Officer R. E. and I'm here with West Craven. Craving in. CG. Okay. So we out here at 2024 Black Bike Week, right? Do y'all got any history on Black Bike Week? Man, it's rich, man. It's it rich from my, from my mama and her mama and mm. her mama's mama. You mm. know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it really started in Atlanta Beach, but, you know, then it migrated down here to Myrtle Beach. But it's, it's rich. Okay. It's real rich. Okay. What you got on it, bro? Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Uh, shucks, my dad and uncles, you know what I'm saying? My uncle originally... Uh, was part of the uh, Carolina uh, Night Riders, okay. you know what I'm saying, the founders of, of Bike Week originally. Okay, okay. So he was one of those original ones. So yeah, the history ran really deep. And um, to see where, you know, it is at today, it's, you know what I'm saying, kind of crazy because with all the restrictions and stuff like that, but we understand you got to keep people safe and all that. But again, it's like, you know what I'm saying, give us a little room, you know, whatnot. But all in all, it, it's still it's still good, you know. It didn't really start out as Black Bike Week, you know, we, we kind of, kind of made a counter movement for the, for the Harvey Davidson week. So how, how you feel about knowing about well, that? Well, what I don't like about it is that, um, you know, when the when the Harley Davidson bike week, they don't close down both lanes. You know what I'm saying? But on the black bike week, they close down one lane to kind of like squeezes in one spot. You know, people bikes is overheating. I mean, why y'all don't do that for the white the white um, bike, bike? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's yeah. not fair. Yeah. When can we originate our own stuff? Now, tell now? you the truth, yeah. Okay, uh, how can we do it? Bring ourselves together as a group. You know how they do cattle. <laughs> right, right, right. You know how they do cattle, you know, going out. I said, oh, you talking about like rawhide, right? We started laughing, you said, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, you know. Being here the week before, you know what I'm saying, you don't have all the blockades and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. Right, so like they say, it was just all good a week ago, right? So what happened? I think it it's just because it, that's all. Yeah, it, got it got darker. It got darker outside. It, 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 it grew a tent around yeah, here, huh? Yeah, man. So how do you feel about um, all the regulations that come during Black Bike Week as opposed to Harley Davidson Week, where it's no, re where it's no yeah. regulations? Sorry, regulations. Yeah. It's bullshit, but we're going to make it happen. You know how we do. We still make it happen. We're going to have a good time. We ain't going to worry about it. Okay, okay. So um, do you, see, do you consider that oppression? Yeah, they, they acting crazy, but we've been going through it all our lives, so like, we just gotta deal with it. We in a white man's America, so like, okay, okay. we gotta make it work, and that's what black people do, we make it work. When you think about bike week, we think about the bikes that come out. We also think about the people that come out, and how we dressing, how we how we acting, things like that, right? Let's get that, read that, come close. Proverbs chapter seven and verse 10. And behold, there made him a woman with the attire of a harlot. So attire is clothing, right? What is a harlot? You don't know? Do you know? Read it again. 
And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. So the Bible doesn't call them hoes, but they call them a harlot. Okay? That's the <laughs> definition of harlot. Okay? Oh, that's a... <laughs> sisters rolled out on me. Hey, the Bible just tells the truth. What will you attract from two knit up? What would I attract? Yeah, what kind of men would you that's attract? Sexual. So you can... Sexual attraction, not... Versus a relationship or you know, future building attraction. Right, right, right. As for tonight. Us as a people, right, all we do, what we do right now, we're following their tradition. Right. Because why do we have a bike week right after theirs? Right. Why we couldn't start our own thing? Right. If we wanted to start something, what, what, what could it be? We could have a little Freaknik thing or something, you know what I uh -oh. mean? A little Freaknik, uh -oh, you know? Uh -oh. Okay. That leads me to my next question. And don't, don't get offended, don't get offended, because my next question could offend someone, okay? We grown. Women. Children, y'all got children? No. Yeah. 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 No. Sons, daughters. Daughter and son. Da daughter, sons daughter. and daughters. Okay. Is it okay for women to walk around in their bra and panties in the street? Shit. Yeah, women with? walked around with no clothes yeah. on back in the day. I mean, yeah. there's no point. We cover a little bit. I mean, we cover a little bit. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't see nothing wrong they wouldn't make them in the store if we couldn't wear them. Yeah. What's the difference between lingerie and a bikini? Let's start with you. It's if you ask me, it's not no difference. It's not. Not a difference? No. OK. You just hunching in the lingerie and a bathing suit, you just getting wet. But you can get wet in the lingerie, too. OK, OK. If, that's my opinion. Okay. Hey. What you think? Uh, I don't think it's no difference, either, because okay. it's basically the same. OK. What do you think? Um, It's really not no difference, but like as far as like bathing suits and stuff like that, it's just like you can wear that out in the open. And then like as far as lingerie, they say you're not supposed to wear it out. but. Bras and the bra and open too, cause it's the same thing. Is it okay for your girlfriend to walk around in her panty and her bra in the streets? Um, no, nah, not really. I, I feel like it just depends on how it looks. Like, it, in panties and bra, hell no. Nah, but like, if you got a <laughs> swimsuit on, cover up, that's cool. It just a matter of how you looking. Like, I mean, at first, at the end of the day, you can't control nobody. That's, and especially if she's not your wife. But you should, you know, pay attention to that and make mental notes of like how this, how she feels, what is comfortable. Because at the day, this is gonna be the, your mother, or your child. So you need to know that this is what she accepts. So just, you know, be weary of that. I mean, like, bro, like. <laughs> Are we anybody married? No. Not married. No married. No. If you was married. Do you think it'd be okay to walk around in that manner if, you, if your husband was there? No, it depends on how my man feel about it. If my, fa if my man don't care, I would do it. Okay. If I'm walking with him, he shouldn't care. He well, shouldn't care or? Women be attracted to, like men to be attracted to their women. That's okay, why okay. we dress like this when we leave them. Uh -oh. And then we come back, be ladies. I'm going to read something and I'm going to ask you, is this something that's high in our communities or low in our communities? Read that. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. So is marriage something that's held at a high regards and I, why not? Um, I don't think it's something that's respected nowadays. Nobody respects marriages. Um, the, the people in the marriage don't even respect the marriage. As black people, we got a bad stigma, like we're going to act up, we're going to, we're going to, we out our element and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, 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 definitely. So 2024, we still seeing the oppression, segregation of our people still today. That's true, that's true, definitely. We definitely are, man. And um, i like to say, man, I'm proud of y'all to come out here, man, and actually stand up against what's right, you know what I mean? You know, with this kind of holiday, there's a lot of women out here, you know what I'm saying, that's half-dressed and all that stuff. You know what type of half-dress I'm talking about, you know, sewing a little too much, you know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's... Somebody need to stand against that sometime. You got to balance it out. So I, I respect y'all balance, you know what I'm saying? For y'all, you know, kind of stand up against the bad that's going on in the world. Somebody got to do it. So I appreciate y'all. Man, remember he said, don't choose none of his ways. Guess what's another way that he didn't taught us? What's that? I'm going to show you something. Get uh get Proverbs 7. Y'all can't I'm coming with y'all here down here on the Sabbath then. Because we, home. yeah, we trying to okay. wake up our people. So y'all ain't walk the strip, y'all ain't go to the beach, y'all ain't do none of that. No, nah, we ain't doing none of that. Okay. Look, we do it look like we dressed in beach attire. <laughs> look like you ready to turn up. <laughs> oh, we about to turn it. We about to turn it. Now I'm gonna show you something else. Let me show you something else that they taught us. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Because 
Would you say that our sisters are the, the best looking women on this earth? Right. Yeah, black don't crack. Is no, that a fact? Is that a fact, right? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a fact. So, Those let me show you something. This is what they taught us. Watch this. The book of, it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 10. Bring it out. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. You know what attire is? With your clothes, what you wear? Oh, yeah. Right. That's what you wear, right? Mm -hmm. Attire of a what? Of an harlot. A harlot? You What's a harlot? harlot? That's in the Bible. <laughs> you see that? You don't have a hoe. That's if, the younger generations now. The older generation, we didn't do all this extra they, they doing right now. She the, are you the we younger generation? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to keep up you with them. You the younger generation? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to keep up. So you trying to keep up. <laughs> but listen, they taught us to say our women should be yeah. promiscuous. Because look Cumber. at our music, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But they can go out there with them little bitty shorts on and want nobody to turn around. Yeah. But our sister, you can see where what it is from the front, right? We exactly. dragging a wagon. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Exactly. So the scripture says we can't do that. Get Proverbs 11 and 22. I'm going to show you something else, all right? Okay. So, yeah, don't take a bend, but that's what God say. It's a certain attire that a hoe will wear. Mm -hmm. And what that attire is? Nothing. <laughs> Less than nothing. Less than nothing, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or something revealing, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So our sister got to stop dressing like that because God said that's how a whole look but he said my daughter are princesses right now watch this Proverbs 11 and 22 watch this it's the book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 22 as a jewel of gold and a swine snout you know what a swine is the swine the pig right? yeah it says so you got a jewel of gold it's like you got a precious ruby and a and a swine snout his nose right like you got yours, right? Not saying, I'm saying you got the jewelry, right? right. So it says just like if you got a, a fine jewel in a pig's nose, what? So is a fair woman, which is without discretion. You see what God said? He said a beautiful woman like my sister's here. Right. But if you have no care for the body, if you have no care for how you dress, he said it's just like a beautiful gem in a pig's nose. Hmm. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Exactly. So that's why we come out, so we can show our people the value in themselves and to show our people that we got to change from what we've been taught and we got to come back to how God exactly. made us to be. This is Hebrews 13 and 4. And this, is, okay. this is what we should be teaching our children that's walking up and down the earth, okay. right? That's good. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. You see, that? that's how God feels about relationships. There's no boyfriend and girlfriend ever in the scriptures, okay? Right. Read on. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. So whatever you do with your husband, that's between you, you and your husband. Right. Right. But until you get married, you're not supposed to be laying down or doing these, any of these type of things. Right. Um, what's the difference? I'm going to let y'all do that. Go ahead, go ahead. This just got booked in between the interview. What is going on here? Book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. So, so the Bible tells us we're supposed to gather together. We're an undesired nation. I mean, you got to gather together. What is what Bike Week originally started out as, but we see now it's turned into this festival of, like, you know, have naked women twerking, right, right, glow, right, you know, all these, right. this, these uh, things. But well, we need to gather together under the right thing and, and, and build together as, as a people. So oh, I, definitely. I, I agree, brother. I definitely agree, brother. And like I said, I commend y'all for doing this stuff, man. We need we need more black leaders, man. I mean, honestly, we need more black leaders, bro. And I definitely appreciate y'all for being out here. Y'all could be doing a whole lot of other things while y'all out here dedicating to something good. So I got nothing but respect for y'all. What What is our heritage? What is our culture? A little different. It's, it's, it's a little different from, you know, uh, Harley uh, b uh, week, uh, bike week, whatever, but I mean, I can't say what our culture is. I mean, I just I just like to come down, enjoy myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, ain't nothing wrong with bikes. I'm just I'm just curious. What, what, what do you think our culture is? Uh, you know, just coming out here, we sexualizing things, getting on bicycles, and we just trying to get faded, trying to have a good time. That's, that's our culture. Right, that, party, have fun, you know. That is the black man's culture. But guess what God calls us? That nation. That nation is the nation of Israel. Right. The Israelites. The 12 tribes of Israel. Y'all heard of them? Yeah. 
What about you? Was it Sean? Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of it. Okay. God says that's the nation that's not desired. That's us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. I'm going to show y'all one scripture, all right? Watch what our culture and our heritage is. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. So God said he gave us the laws for our heritage. And some of those laws are certain holidays or holy days that we supposed to celebrate. We got our own things, but through slavery, guess what? They taught us not to celebrate any of that to the point where we forgot all of it. So now that's what we do. We try to cleave to different things to try to find something because we know our spirit knows that is we supposed to celebrate some we are people that like to party that like to chill right but we don't have the right things that we supposed to party party for right yeah. so that's what we come out to show our people that we are the 12 tribes of israel that's the elders right because mm -hmm. we supposed to be teaching the young men how to come up be men you know regardless of your age 16 mm -hmm. 20 mm -hmm. 21 mm -hmm. us as the elders we supposed to be like hey bro this is not the right way mm -hmm. come sit down with me we we're going to learn together we're going to build together mm -hmm. And that's not that's not what we're doing as the elders. Right. So we we're allowing them to let, let the foolishness continue. Mm -hmm. So that's why my question now is, what what steps should we take as the elder men to put them in places and, and lead them the right way? Uh, well, I would say, man, it start it starts at it starts in the home. You know, it's, it, you know, if, if if they raise right, man, and raise with good parents and good father, good mom. Usually it's going to come out how it is, but if, if the parents are not there and they just doing what they do, you know, they definitely a product of what they is, of the environment, man. So it, it, it goes back there because, you know, that's kind of like trying to raise a, you, you know, teach an old dog, you know, mm -hmm. something that's, you know, he's been doing, you know, since birth. So it's, it's kind of hard when you bump into the little cats out here and say, oh, man, won't you, you know, it's, they, ain't, they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it because at the end of the day, you ain't my mom, you ain't my daddy. Yep. So, you know, yep. it comes to that. And now it's like, okay, now you done put yourself in, okay, well, I tried to help this man. I don't want to put myself all the way in and not make us a problem. Okay, you take care of your business, kind of your business. And that's kind of how it comes. So if the parents ain't, 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 ain't in the household putting their foot down, man, it's just like, you know, you, know, you ain't, it's over. Hey, big bro, you hit it on the head, man. It happens, actually has to happen in the house mm -hmm. for us to be comfortable in the streets with each other. Yeah. Because like you said, if you're trying to teach a young brother and you might step on his toes the wrong way, now y'all fighting because you're trying to help the brother out thinking that and he ain't thinking that way. Definitely. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 7. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children mm -hmm. and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house mm -hmm. and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up. See, a lot of times... Us as Christians, the black Christians, we don't really read the Bible to, to have understanding. We just read it to get it out of the way, you know. The Bible teaches us as the men, we're supposed to teach our children from young, grow them up as old so they can know how to walk the earth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Our young men and our young sisters because we make we make the nation. God calls us the Israelites. He doesn't call us blacks. He doesn't call us Hispanics. He calls us the Israelites and we're his chosen people and certain things that we're supposed to be doing. So our sisters walking around, right? They walk around half naked. You know, clothes, butt out, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Do you see fit for women to walk around bra and panties on in the street? But that 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 goes back with social media, see things they see. Um, I'm a, I'm a little older, so you know, back you know when I was I was growing up, it was one wasn't none of that. You know, now it's like it's the vibe. So if it's the vibe, then they with it. You know, and it's 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 crazy how it is. You know. It's like you know they if it's if it's looking good and it's gonna bring likes mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. they don't even gotta know you as long mm -hmm. as they, they they get a thousand likes then they happy they ain't tripping I got a thousand likes hey at the end of the day you know it's like a um it's like I was thinking they you know, need some attention they need some attention mm -hmm. so you know hey let me let me let me let me bring it out let me bring this out let me you know, and then you know it don't it don't make it no better when you got the you know you know you got the sexy reds and mm. And all this, you know, it's like that's what it is. You so know? basically, they promoting whoredom oh, yeah, they, to our children. Yes. Because yes. think about it, our children know these sexy red songs, Megan Thee Stallion songs. They know their well, Cardi B. They know their yeah. songs more than they they know the Bible. Yeah. Now I, I don't, I don't, I'm not knocking 
sexy red of, of get 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 going getting her back, you know. But the way she's doing this, basically, you promoting prostitution. But you know, I don't knock her from getting your money. But also, also, you know, you you're supposed to educate. Be like, okay, these, these songs, these songs here. But at the end of the day, this is what it is. I I would more like that more of her if she if you know because you she got you got the attention, you got the likes, you got you got everything that you need, you got the money. Now educate these young girls because these young young girls is seeing what you do. And following. They following. Yep. I'll be honest with you, I, this probably be my last one. I've I've seen some things that we don't see up north where I'm from. I'm from Delaware. Come down south. I love the people, but man, when you go to a restaurant and they tell you they ain't gonna give tap water out this week because it's Black Bike Week. Mm. But last week, when it was White Bike Week, mm. they gave out tap water. Mm -hmm. Them people can't get no more of my money. Okay, so, okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel, and they kind of ticked me off. So you probably interviewing the wrong brother. No, right no, now. no, there's some good stuff. I like that, I like that. Mm -hmm. But as we seen, it's grown in size, but as far as the diversity and the oppression, it's still there, right? It's still there, man. That's the only thing about it. Okay. The only thing about it. Now, like I said, we Bible-based, so I want to show you a scripture about what you stated, about there's not even one to give us tap water, right? Get that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Let's see what the Bible says about oppression, because that's a form of oppression. We can't even get tap water, right? Exactly. And then does the water fly, uh, fall free from the sky? Free from the sky, my friend. But we got to be taxed for it. Yeah, we got to be taxed for it. That's it. Okay, now watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 7. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. You see that? Mm -hmm. Read on. And a gift destroyeth the heart. And a gift destroys the heart. You know what that means? That means we're going to oppress you, but we'll give you a little freedom as a gift. As a gift. You see what I'm yeah. saying? But once you start to see the oppression, it says a wise man will become angry at the sight that he see, right? Exactly. And that's how I feel about that water. So he says, that's why you shouldn't choose to none of their ways because you are above all people. We're supposed to be the trendsetters, right? Exactly. We're supposed to be the ones that's leading and not following. Exactly. But, and every time we follow, you see what happens to we us, right? We get bent up. We get bent up, man. Every, every time. time. Seven call, we, we, did, we disobey. First, give me seven nine because it's, it's a lot of things that we have to do as a culture, as a people, before we can actually start our own thing. Okay. If you see these brothers right here, also the brothers in the purple, you saw them walk past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're building a nation. Okay. We're building a, a nation and a race of people that can could govern ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. We need leaders to govern the streets. Because like you said, or like y'all said, we supposed to police the streets, but we're not, we not doing this. The book of Zephaniah, chapter two and verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. You see what it said? The nation that's not desired is who? That's us, right? Mm -hmm. We, uh, we need to come together, build together, be on one accord and deal together. None of this foolishness like somebody step my shoe, I'm going to have to fight them. Yeah. You're looking at my girl wrong. I'm gonna have to, if, you, if, you, if you get your household in control and rule your house properly, then we all can come together. Right. I'm not coming against you. You're not coming against me because we, we have the same understanding. Mm -hmm. So read it again. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation, not desire. And that has to happen. Like I said, when you see the brothers in the purple, you see the brothers with this IUIC, we building and we growing together. We we actually building a nation. And we need your help as well. Because without you, we can't continue to continue the nation to go. We all are one one body together. Uh, be the first one, the one I wanted. Because uh, y'all made a good point. But when I was talking about how we can't start our own event without them, this is what we do. Lamentation chapter 4, verse 17. As for us... Yeah. Our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Because that's what we do. We look for help, but we're looking in the wrong places. When we gather together, that's the places we need to be looking for our help. Our brothers will help us out more than the oppressor would because they're the ones that got us at the bottom and keeping us at the bottom. Read on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. You hear that? That's what we do. Every time when our brothers get killed in the streets by their nation, we want to march and save us black lives matter and all that why we got to tell them our lives matter and we don't see it for ourselves right, right. you know what i mean when we kill each other that's when we supposed to be coming together this is what we need to build on and grow on this is the this is the main because if you're not following the laws of god and doing what he said do 
we lost out here in these streets because we don't have no foundation. You know, read that. Baruch chapter 4, verse 37. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west. You see that? The, the real sons of God, we're going to come together. We're going to gonna battle and we're going to go through some things, but we're going to want to call. Like, okay, I'm going to help you out now. And we're coming with this word of God. That's what's going to keep us in one tight niche. Read on. They come gathered together from the east to the west uh -huh. by the word of the Holy One. You see that? Until we all come together and build on this word, then we'll never be together. We'll always be separate. We'll always be against each other. That's why we, we teach against religion. We teach against the Baptist church and things like that. They're not, they not helping us to build as a nation of people. They're keeping us in that same niche, keeping us in, under their control, which we need to come under God's control, all right? We need more people like, like you, like y'all. We need more leaders, man. We need more leaders. We need more men. <laughs> All right, where you going, Mr. Bernard? Where you going to? Man, I'm feeling it, man. What you, you feeling? Know, I'm feeling God. Hey, y'all, y'all some brave fellows, you know, and I commend you. I mean, you know, how you're keeping it real, and then hey, like the truth is the light, and then it, with, if you got God's grace on you. You powerful, you good, you know, and then smart on top of it. I wish I had known, you know. Right, but it's never too late, Mr. Bernard. <laughs> Come join us, all right, Mr. Bernard? We good in three, two, one. Hey, we came out here in Myrtle Beach, Black Bike Week 2024, IUIC TV, man. We brought the truth to the people. We got their thoughts on, on the Black Bike Week. Hey, and that will say shalom.